and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is David Popovich, aka The Bookworm, and welcome to Bookworm's Goosebumps Retrospective. Today, you better prep up and look your best for number 44, Say Cheese and Die, again! Greg is telling his true story about his adventure with the evil camera from last summer, but his teacher, Mr. Sar, doesn't believe him. Greg, you're supposed to share a true story, Mr. Sar scolded. Instead, you came in here with that wild tale. It was completely silly. I don't know what you were thinking. He gives Greg's report an F, which isn't good, for Greg wants to visit his cousins in California, but his parents won't let him if his grades don't improve. Mr. Sor gives Greg a chance to prove him wrong. Bring in the camera, he said. Bring it in and prove that it's evil. Prove that your story is true, or else I have to fail you. Greg is nervous about reliving the horrors the camera has brought, but he would love nothing more than to prove Mr. Sar wrong. Cause Mr. Sar is a total prick. That's not hyperboreal. Mr. Sar is one of the worst human beings I've read in a Goosebumps book, always having a sick pleasure in others' pain, especially later on in the book when Greg is suffering from a photo of the camera. Sounds like someone is unfulfilled with his life. No wonder they call him Sourball. But yes, Greg does get the camera again and relives new terrors that would push him to his limits all just to see some people in California. Kind of lame. The cover itself is goofy, and I know why. It's the eyes. I'm sorry, but skeletons with eyes are not scary. At least not here. Compared to the last one with the empty sockets that carried a creepier vibe. Compared to this cover that looks like the start of a family sitcom. The Jack Skellingtons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Lord knows the hair isn't helping either. Four words, comb overs and spiked hair are not scary. It's just goofy. Smile for the camera. The story itself follows extremely close to the same template as Monster Blood 2. You have our main character being mocked by a mean teacher about some supernatural encounter from last summer and the only way to prove themselves right is to bring back the horrors from before cause logic. And I'm sorry, Greg's reasons to get the camera are stupid. Maybe to a child around Greg's age would understand his thought process, but as an adult, you can't help but feel that Greg's reasons are stupid. You don't get to see some people during the summer. Oh the humanity! Hashtag first world problems. It's especially clear how stupid it is when his friend Sorry tries to convince him out of it. Don't you remember how dangerous that camera is? Don't you remember all the horrible things it did to us? Girl, you're in a Goosebumps sequel. Main characters always forget the dangers. I will give credit that Stein doesn't repeat the same thing. He gives a different dilemma when Greg and Sorry take pictures of each other by accident. Though it only goes to show how stupid their parents are. Seriously. Dumbest parents ever. It's an okay sequel, but the logic in this story just doesn't make sense. Again, maybe as a kid these things make more sense, but with hindsight, you can't help but know this is a stupid idea. What about you, Internet? What's your opinion about Say Cheese and Die Again? Till next time, have a scary day.